When country music superstar Carrie Underwood isn't on tour, she spends her time in Tennessee, where she lives in a gorgeous custom mansion with her husband, Mike Fisher, and their two sons. While Carrie and Mike formerly lived in a luxe home in Brentwood, the couple sold off that place in 2017 after about a decade of living there and set out on building their 400-acre dream home. Country music superstar Carrie Underwood has quite the stunning mansion over in Tennessee with acres of beautiful grounds. Recently, she shared a photo from her family home on social media of a gorgeous tree with fall leaves changing color. In fact, when Carrie isn't touring, there's nowhere she would rather be than at home. She revealed in an interview, I don't want to go to restaurants, I don't want to travel, I don't want to go anywhere. I love being at home. I would literally never leave my house. I get nervous in crowds and in group settings and stuff like that. However, Carrie will soon be going on the Denim and Rhinestones tour with appearances in New Orleans, Salt Lake City, Atlanta, Portland, and LA. When all of those concerts are complete, Carrie can retreat back to her beloved estate in Franklin to be with her husband and sons. Hey everyone, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today on Famous Entertainment, we're looking at the stunning homes of Carrie Underwood. Now let's get into this video. In 2011, it was reported that Carrie and her hubby Mike scooped up over 400 undeveloped acres of land in the semi-rural suburbs of Nashville, Tennessee. The couple paid about $2.9 million for 354 acres in the foothills south of Nashville and dropped another $350,000 on an attached 50-acre plot to make up that whopping amount of space. Carrie and her beau spent a few years building and constructing their dream home and by the looks of the exterior, it was well worth it. We don't know the exact details or measurements of the mega mansion, but as you can see, it is huge. From the looks of it, it was built in a modern farmhouse style with a white exterior and wooden brown accents like the roof. There is also a large barn-like building on the adjoining property with its own driveway and an additional smaller structure. This could be a guest house or space for their horses or both. <laughs> we do know Carrie's property boasts orchard, cows, and horses. In fact, one Christmas, Mike bought her two cows. In 2016, Carrie opened up about the building process of their dream home to country living. She said that her and Mike were designing their forever home, which would have a quote unquote wood burning fireplace, a porch swing and rocking chairs. They didn't move in until late 2018 and by this time they had already welcomed their first son with the second on the way. Carrie has given us quite a few looks inside her beautiful home thanks to social media. We can get an idea of her style. Recently she showed us her family kitchen which has soaring white ceilings above and exposed wooden beams for a charming touch. The space has clean lines, matching white appliances, and state-of-the-art range with extractor hood. Other details in the chef's kitchen include a large black breakfast or snack bar with built-in storage and black sink. This space also has large windows with views of the stunning grounds. Carrie and Mike's mansion has a variety of rooms as you might expect from a property so massive, including a full basement, multiple living areas, bedrooms, bathrooms, and more than one garage. We could also see a bit of Carrie's main living room. This space is designed with a gray and beige color scheme along with some wooden details adding a warm and rustic feel. In terms of furniture, there's a large cream colored couch and a wooden dresser where the couple has placed some plants. In another shot from Christmas, we can see another living area or it's the same one from a different angle that shows the high vaulted ceilings, white concrete pillars and stunning floor to ceiling windows. The mansion has hardwood floors throughout accented with patterned rugs to provide a warm and welcoming feel. The country star has also shown off her impressive walk-in closet with floor-to-ceiling wardrobes for her clothes, shoes, and bags. An island in the middle of the closet even boasts a built-in washing machine and dryer for easy laundry days. Like, that is so convenient, I want one of those. Carrie has also given a peek at her home gym. One of the first to get a look at Carrie's sprawling estate was Oprah Winfrey when the couple showed her plot of land on the OWN network in 2012. Carrie also said they'd set up a cute picnic area and planned to plant many trees. Considering all the acres of land, it's no surprise that there are private stables for horses and other animals. The couple even has their own lake 
which Mike previously showed off in a pic fishing with the boys. Also on the grounds, there's a swimming pool, terraces to entertain, and Carrie even has a space in the garden to work out if she feels like doing so al fresco. Here, the space is fitted with rubber floors for weightlifting and training to make everything easy. When Carrie first moved from Nashville to Oklahoma, she lived in a slightly more modest, under a million dollar home in Tennessee. But when she and Mike wed, they moved to the area of Brentwood, purchasing a luxe house for $1.35 million in 2007. This house sat at the end of a cul-de-sac in the gated Governor's Club golf community and measured just over 7,000 square feet of space with four beds, four full baths, and two half baths throughout. It was in an affluent suburban neighborhood about 20 miles from downtown Nashville, and the exterior of the home was a stone accented beige brick mansion, slightly traditional in style, while inside there were three luxurious floors. The grand double height entrance featured a curved staircase and herringbone pattern stone floors, and it led to the usual fancy common rooms. The foyer opened up to the formal dining room and stepped down to the soaring living room, which had floor to ceiling windows and oak floors underfoot. There was also a carved stone fireplace and velvet drapes and the nearby kitchen had stainless steel appliances and carved custom cabinets. The island slash snack bar here opened to the breakfast space and attached family room, which was cozier and more casual, offering a brick fireplace and view of the golf course. Other features in Carrie's former mansion included a library office, games room, guest apartment with kitchenettes, and mirror-walled gym. The master suite here was sprawling with a fireplace, luxe attached bath, and a custom walk-in closet. Here, there was a corkscrew staircase that led down to the basement, which was definitely styled for Carrie. It seemed to be a fancy glam room here with heated marble floors, a hair and makeup station, a shoe and handbag area, and a spacious lounge with wet bar. That literally sounds like my dream space. While the house sat on just over half an acre of land, there were plenty of outdoor hangout spots, including a patio overlooking the golf course and a planted courtyard. The pair ended up calling this home for basically a decade, but decided to part with it in late 2017, after Carrie underwent a freak accident, a fall right outside of this home. From here, they decided to go to their semi-remote spread in Franklin, which was a rustic, luxe barn-style home on a bunch of acres of land that seemed to act as their vacation retreats until they completed building their dream mansion. They finally sold this Brentwood crib in 2019 for $1.4 million. Well, it seems that Carrie Underwood no doubt lives in a Tennessee home that's just as stylishly country as she is, and we can't wait for her to show us some more peeks inside. But as for now, that's gonna wrap up this house tour. What was your favorite part of Carrie's custom estate? Was it the 400 acre grounds with the stables and other amenities? Drop those comments down below. I, for one, love Nashville. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to Famous Entertainment, turn on those notifications, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in another video. Bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Thank you.